Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these earrings that are a combination of single and double brick stitch but don't worry if you're not familiar with these stitches because I'm showing everything so a beginner could make it and I also provide free patterns that I'm gonna be posting on my Facebook page that is why you might check it out and you might also post the designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page to see it. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and link to the membership in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 0 seed beads, red, turquoise, pink, golden and white. Here I'm using earring findings in golden color. This is Naimo nylon thread that is 0.3 mm or size D. I provide a free pattern that we're gonna be using during the tutorial and I will post it on my Facebook page as well. Here is a size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12, it's up to you. And here I'm using scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and we're gonna be working with this pattern all the time. But it's easier for me guys to cut it in two pieces. Why? Because this bottom part is done with single brick stitch and this is done with double brick stitch but don't worry i'm showing it really easy and step by step and i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it okay so first i'm going to start with this row from the double brick stitch the first row and then i will continue with this pattern which is single brick stitch and i'll go back then to the top part okay so Let's start here. This first row starts with four red beads, so I'm gonna be picking them up and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I have them here. And I'm going to slide those down. Like this. Here I'm leaving a small tail that I will use to finish my work with it later. Okay, so I'm going through two of those four back in circle guys like this and now i have these four next to each other then what i want to do is go through this through these two one more time okay guys now I have these first four added and now I need here in turquoise color two and then after that two more. So I take two and I go back like this and then through these two, through this newly added two. But as I said I need two more. Only the first step I start with four beads and then I add all of them two by two. Okay, let me consult again with my pattern guys. After that I need golden, pink, white, pink, golden, turquoise, turquoise, red and red. Okay golden pink white pink
Golden. Turquoise. Turquoise. Red. And red. Okay, my friends, and I just did this row. And now, this is my whole pattern. I just did, guys, this row here. This one. And I want to continue working here on this row. First, I will do this one, okay? But it will be easier if I just cut my pattern in two to be able to concentrate better on the part that I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm starting with single brick stitch and I take two red beads first. Okay, two red beads. And as I'm exiting from this thread, you see here I have thread bridges between my beads. And I want to go not through the first one, but through the second one here that I have on my way. Why I'm doing this? Because in the next row I have less beads than I have in the previous row. I need to decrease. That is why the rule is to go through the second thread bridge. But if you're not familiar, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. So I'm going through one of my beads. Then through the other one. And I want to reinforce. Why I'm reinforcing? Because when I go through the second thread bridge, my beads stretch and they don't sit nice and tight next to each other. That's why I'm reinforcing them. Let me consult with my pattern again. Now I need turquoise beads and I'm going to be adding the beads from here on one by one. Turquoise, turquoise, golden, pink, pink, golden, turquoise, turquoise, red and red. Turquoise. And at the next thread bridge, again turquoise. I'm using those thread bridges, as you may see, one by one. Golden. Next thread bridge. Pink, pink. Golden. Turquoise, turquoise, red, red. Okay, this row is ready and I want to consult with my pattern for the next row. So this is the row. If you, if you are confused, this is the row that I did just now with these two pink beads. Now I'm going to be doing the, the top row, which will be with one bead less. And I will start it with two 
but I'm starting it from here because my thread is here. So I will start it with two reds and continue to turquoise, golden, pink, golden, to turquoise and two red beads. I'm adding them one by one. Only the first step is with two. Okay, I take two and as I said, because in the next row I have less beads, I'm going under the second thread bridge here. And then through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. And I always reinforce, guys. Always. Because I go under the second thread bridge and my bead stretch. When you make decreasing brick stitch, you always reinforce. With the increasing, you don't. Okay. I take one turquoise and I go under the next thread bridge, which in fact is the third thread bridge here from the beginning. And then again turquoise. So this row is almost the same as the previous row, just one pink in the center disappears because I add with one bead less than the previous row. So here I need golden. The difference with the previous row is only one pink in the center instead of two. I have guys my second row of this single brick stitch ready so this is the first this is the second then I'm doing the third row and it is the same as the previous one only the pink one in the center disappears because I have with one bead less compared to the previous row so I started with two reds two turquoise then I have two goldens two turquoise and two reds and absolutely the same way as before, I take two red beads and I go again under the second thread bridge because I decrease. From the sh shape of it, you know that you decrease not uh, even if you don't count the beads, it's visible. And then I reinforce. Okay, I'll show you this row faster. Even if I don't look at the pattern, I could finish this until the end because I know the rule is that only the bit in the center disappears and the others are the same.
okay guys now I'm going to start my next row so I did one two three rows so I'm up to here and now in the it is the same like the previous one only that I have one golden in the center instead of two you see here I have two here one and the others are the same okay I'll show you only the first step which is again the same go under the second thread bridge like this then reinforce your beads first go through the one which is closer to the center then reinforce And from now on guys continue absolutely the same way that I show you until now okay now you can pause on this pattern and continue guys from here on adding rows 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 and when I'm up to here until the last part I'll be back to show you how we finish it okay pause and do this and I'm here guys at almost my last step here I need two red beads and I have two thread bridges but the rule applies anyway so where you exit out of you go through the second thread bridge out after that with two beads and then reinforce Okay, and here I need one more bead and I'm going like this through the neighbor red one okay and I have these guys now don't forget that this is the bottom part of your work by the way if you still haven't done it you could pause on this frame and or go back to the pattern frame and finish it and after that follow me for the other part okay I flip it because I will continue in this direction okay I go through all of those beads just like this and exit here at this part now guys I want to put a needle on this end make a knot and cut it okay and I have a needle here at the shorter end and what I want to do is to go through some beads in this direction by the way some people just zigzag through the beads and cut it without knots but here I will make a small knot okay making a loop and going once or even twice through this loop you've made And pull then go through some beads in this direction and cut this tail thread now I'm going to continue with my work okay let me remind you that this is the whole pattern and we did this bottom part with the single brick stitch and the first row of the double brick stitch part so we are up to here and in order to be easier I will take this smaller pattern and so we did this row and now it's time to do the next row okay I'm exiting here out of this red bead that I'm pointing to and now I need to start a ne uh, next row and the first two columns of this row are red and turquoise so I'm taking two red and two turquoise beads to start it and again because I decrease in the next row I have less beads I will be going under the second thread bridge that I have here okay then because I go under the second thread bridge I'm going to reinforce by going through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work 
then through the previous two and then through these two again so because it is double brick stitch it's the same like the single but everything you take is double that is why it's double so instead of starting with two beads you start with four beads and then you continue adding them two by two instead of one by one okay let me consult again what's coming up next next you need to add turquoise golden pink two whites and when i add this i'll be back again to the pattern okay turquoise golden pink white and white again okay now i have these two white and after that two more whites added in the center and then i will mirror this part that i have here so i take pink two pink two golden two turquoise two turquoise and two red beads Okay, this row is ready let me take my pattern again and you see I need to do this row starting from here now the red beads disappear from both sides and one white appears in the center so because I'm making double brick stitch I started with four beads in this case four turquoise beads okay I take those four and as I said, because I decrease, I go under the second thread bridge. Then I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And then I reinforce. then let me remind what's coming up next golden two goldens two pinks and three rows of two whites Okay guys and then I will continue by mirroring mirroring this part here pink golden and two turquoise okay you see it is in my pattern pink golden two turquoise
Okay, guys, and now the logic of this pattern is that one color disappears from the end and then one white column appears in the center and you make decreasing double brick stitch, okay? Now, in order to be easier for you, pause on this pattern and continue from this row on. I'm holding it for you. So if you pause here on this frame, you will be able to make it until the end. And I'm sure of it because if you did it up to here, you will know how to do this. Maybe I will show you only the first step here. It starts with two turquoise and two golden this step. Okay, then go under the second thread bridge. Then go through the two beads that are closer to the center. And then reinforce. Okay, then I'm here at this row. Then it comes pink and four, two pinks and after that four columns of two white beads. Okay, this is how we continue. Okay, now I think it's time guys to pause on the pattern and do this. Okay, now pause here and continue with your work until you uh, are up to here to this row and then i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am at almost my last step here i take again four white beads and you see here i have three thread bridges but again i'm going under the second one of them After that, I go through these two white beads and after that, I reinforce. Then I take two more white beads to finish this row. Okay. And after that, guys, I take two white beads, my earring finding and two white beads. And as I'm exiting here through this bead, again, I go under the second thread bridge. Okay. After that, I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And as always, I reinforce. And after you reinforce, go in this direction through some beads, just like this. And choose some place to make a knot. Okay, let's say here, I'm making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made, I'm pulling. And I'm going through one or two beads after that, guys. And I cut this thread. Okay, my friends. And now my diamond-shaped festive seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. And this is a great and amazing support. And in this way, you motivate me to make more and more videos. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and more for the membership you could see in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.